Hey guys, it's Jason with Wired to Fish. Hey, today I'm going to show you how to clean uh, modern day bait casters. We, we've had a video on cleaning old reels, and uh, this is an old reel, but I've got you know, this reel isn't even 12 months old. Um, but you'll find that these bait casters are pretty similar. They're both Abu Garcias, they're pretty similar for taking apart um, and getting real clean and working like brand new. Um, there's just a few basic precautions you want to take um, to keep it simple. The, the first thing I do, I get a white towel. Um, that's for two reasons. One, the pieces when I take them out of the reel will show up better on this white towel. Um, the other thing is if I drop something while I'm in the middle of it, I've got this towel kind of double or quadrupled up. With the towel like that, if I drop something, it has a tendency to just stop right here where it falls. It won't bounce off a hard counter and then go into the floor, and now you've lost a piece that you need to make your reel work right. So, um, But without much uh, else to say about it, we'll kind of get in here, and I'll walk you through some of the stuff you need. First thing I want to do, I want to get the handle, the side plate, and the other side plate off of the reel, get the spool out so I can actually get into the gears. That's what you're really wanting to clean. and. Um, you want to clean all the grit and anything that might have built up in there, clean all that out, and then you want to put fresh oil and fresh grease on it and get it all back together the way it was before you opened it up. That's real key. I'll tell you one little tip um, that a lot of people probably overthink or forget about um, is this. Take a picture with your cell phone. Um, get the thing open. Pull the part, pull the top off, and as you, if you go, if you got any questions about how to put it back together, as you take a piece off, take a picture of it with your phone, and and that'll give you a, a shortcut um, to get the reel back put together. And you know, because I do it all the time, you might get something a little bit out of place, and you go to turn the handle, and it's locked up. It, well, something just didn't mesh back in there when you put it back together, or you left a piece off. So um, this this phone can be invaluable for getting the reel back together. Um, the way you had it. So, so we're just going to take our screwdriver, um, a little bitty flathead or a little bitty Phillips head. Usually we'll do the trick. This one's got a flathead. That, that one screw usually on the top right here that's got the bar that goes across, that's usually what holds the side plate on the other side in place. So once you've got that unscrewed, you can pop that out and get your spool out. So there we go. We've already started getting the reel taken apart here. Um, usually there's going to be at least two and sometimes three, um, but there'll be two little screws on the side plate here and here. And then usually if you look inside, you'll see another screw right here. So we we're going we're gonna to take each, each of these off. And I'll tell you with an Abu, the screws are all different size. And what you'll find is the thicker kind of medium length screw is the one from the inside of the spool or from the inside of holding the side plate on. So I'm just going to, all right, I got that screw out. I'm going to set it, set it aside right there. This one that's up top, kind of close to the line guide, usually that one's a real narrow but long um, screw. And so I'm going to get that one out. Um, and then the other bottom one kind of down here below the tension knob. All right. That one also is a skinny long screw. In fact, it, it's a little bit longer than the one I just took out. So the, the skinny long screw up top, it's a little bit shorter than the skinny long screw that, was, that I took off the bottom. So I've basically got that done. Then I'm going to Undo my tension knob now. Inside your tension knob, there's usually a little plastic washer. Now, it's, it's stayed here on the thing. You just don't want to lose that piece. Um, so I, I, I pulled that piece off. I'm going to set that there. I'm going to set the knob there. I need to get the handle off before I can take that whole side plate off. So usually there's one screw on here. This, this old Revo STX, this is a Generation 1. This, I actually got this reel before you could even buy them in stores. So... That tells you how old this reel is, but I, I absolutely love it. This is still probably my favorite reel of all time. And uh, all right, so I got those two little screws off the handle. That's going to let get me into the plate under here. All right, and usually what that's guarding, usually, you know, some of them just have, like on this one, 
you can see it's it's got just you, you undo one screw this little piece comes off and then you can turn that nut off turn that nut so um, all right so I'm gonna just loosen that and then just get that, that nut that's holding the handle off of there all right so I've got my handle parts together it's my tension knob and the nut and then the screws for the side plates the drag you're just gonna you're gonna basically twist it and it'll quit clicking you gotta continue to twist it and you'll kind of feel it on catch all right it's a little dirty up in there so we probably need to clean that we'll set that aside for now and you'll see this is where a lot of people want to take a picture because there's two little washers plus this little catch here, this little clicker catch. Um, and we need to get those easily. We need to get them to come up off of the thing. So I got that up. Got the, you know, here I got the two washers off. I'm going to set those aside and clean those in a second. Uh, that's going to be snug, and then, but you want to be really careful. You don't want to mar the teeth on here because it'll be hard to get the drag back on. So you just need to just gently kind of wiggle it until you can get it through there. But um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to take that piece off and clean it as well. Okay, so now I've got everything out of the way where I can get the, the side plate off. And some side plates, it, the gears in here will be kind of meshed together, and you may have to just wiggle them and just, just be real easy and kind of work it up and down, back and forth until you get it. Again, here's some more pieces off of this reel. This is a collar, and a, a, again, some washers that sit on that collar. That snugs the side plate up against the shaft here, the handle shaft. So be sure you remember where those are. Again, this, these are the parts where you want to take a picture. You've got... All right, so now we've got the side plate off. It's not too bad in there. Um, I cleaned these rails last year, so they're not terribly dirty, but it doesn't look like they have very much grease on them either. So um, the next part I'm going to want to do is to, to, to spray this down real good, get any grit out of here, and then I'm going to want to uh, re-oil it, re-grease it, and get it all put back together. Right, I'm going to use a spray cleaner. This just happens to be the Arden Real Clean. I like this stuff because I can spray in here. I'm gonna spray it till it actually drips. I'm just trying to get some of the stuff loose. A couple pieces that fell off in here. I'll tell you about these. There's two springs which put tension on the on the gears. Again, right there is the point I was making about the white towel. That spring fell out of there, and I didn't know where it went, but it hit the towel and basically stopped. But So on this side plate, this is the spool, the spool shaft. And essentially it's going to go... It's going to go this side in, and it's got this little collar here that kind of holds it in place. You can see that collar is pretty dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and take a toothbrush here. I've sprayed this down real good, and I'm just going to try to get any of that little grit out of there. Again, I'm just, I'm just doing this because I'm trying to get any little grit that might have gotten that reel somehow that could be grinding against all these metal gears. All right, so I'm just I'm just cleaning this as much of this stuff out of the here, this old nasty grease and grit and anything else that I can get out of here. I'm just trying to get it cleaned out as much as I can. You can take all this off. This is essentially this is your drag system. So what you have, this is a protective plate, but then you'll see you have these this series of 
ceramic or graphite or you know different materials you know different manufacturers use different materials but they're basically sandwiching those between those and then as you tighten your drag you compress all those materials together and it kind of creates some friction but still allows for a little bit of slippage you know and so obviously the tighter you make them the the tighter it will um, the more those will press together and the harder it will be for the spool to turn under tension so so I've got all that stuff pretty cleaned out. Now again, I want to put this back in here like I found it. So I've got that white piece, which is basically just essentially the, the bracket that's going to hold this in place where it's supposed to be. All right, then these two springs, they go on these, these black pegs on this reel. I'm just going to put those back on here. So I'll keep up with all this. Um, what you want to do where these two, these two metal gears are together, you want to be sure you grease those. those are the, that's the part of your reel that needs grease, not oil. If some oil gets on it, it's not that big a deal. But, but grease is the most important thing. So I like to get some rubbed on here. The big thing is you don't want to, you don't want a lot of excess grease clumped on here. I like to I'll put some on my finger and I'm just going to go around all the way around these teeth. As, the, as I spread it on and the excess goes up on the top, I'm going to take that stuff off the top and rub it around on the teeth. I just want to get a little bit of grease on all as much of these teeth as I can. I don't want it clumped up in here. Same thing on this other little gear. You know, I'm just rubbing that grease in, rubbing that grease in. I want those metal, every one of those metal teeth to have grease on them. All right, the drops of oil. I've got this Lucas Real oil, and I'm gonna, the drops of oil I like to put on this shaft. Inside here, I like to put it on the inside here. That's where your spool your spool goes inside the reel and touches in there. So, um, other and I'll show you some other places we want to do. But let's uh, let's clean out the clean out the inside of the drag. I saw there was some grit in there. Yep, so I got it pretty shiny in there now. Again, we want to put a little bit of just a little bit of grease in here, not much. Maybe a drop of oil. Just want it to, everything to be lubricated. All right, so we've basically we've we've got the inside cleaned out. We got the gears greased. Um, now I want to I really I want to put the start putting the reel back together and oil the points as I put them back together. So, all right, I want to put the side plate back on to kind of hold everything together as I start to put this back on. So you've got to feed your Feed this peg down through the hole that's there for it. And the same time, you want to get it over this shaft right here. And then you just want to, you don't want to get real aggressive here, but you just want to, if you'll just kind of go back and forth, it's got to fit down over those gears. But when you've got it on there right, it just, it just easily goes down and snugs up on there. Um, now, one place I like to oil is right here on the tip of this, right here where this, where I'm going to be putting my tension cap back on. I'm going to put the black washer back on here, and it's the black washer's got pegs on the bottom of it that fit in these grooves here. So, you, I mean, it does line up. There is a specific way it goes. You just get those two pegs in there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put my tension knob on. That kind of just helps me hold everything in place. Now, I want to put this shaft back down in here. This, this kind of holds... Okay, now I've got this on here. I'm going to go ahead and put my screws back in. So, as I stated earlier, the, the, the narrow, long screw goes, uh, you know, the one that's not as long goes up in the top. So, we'll just put it on real quick. The longer, narrow screw 
goes in the bottom hole here. And then the thicker screw, it's a long screw, it's somewhat narrow, but it's thicker than the last two we put in. It goes on the inside in here. This one can be a little bit cumbersome if you've got big fingers like I do. Just get it started there. Um, again, with these screws, just don't, don't force them in. I mean, they, they go in, obviously, and if you get them in there a little cockeyed, you'll, you'll, you'll cross-thread the screw in there. That's not what you want to do make that loose the more you do that but okay so that that's going to hold everything together one of the things you want to check right away once you get that side plate put on turn this handle and just feel that it feels smooth you don't want to you don't want it bound or caught or real hard to turn it shouldn't have any tension on it right now so that feels real smooth in there so now this this kind of holds all my guts together while i'm putting everything back on so the other thing we want to do here we want to put our this is basically the clicker mechanism on the drag. It also keeps the drag in a, from going to a certain level of closeness to the reel. But again, this this is gonna this one for whatever reason always is has a very low tolerance for going on. So you've got to. And the one thing I'll note to you, you know, it's got a little flanged end and then an open end. That flanged end goes facing down. And it kind of meshes up with that collar there. All right, so I got it on there. Then I'm going to take my two washers. There's just basically spacers for the drag. And those go down. They kind of sit down in that little tray that's created by that. So we've got that on. The one thing I do want to do here, I'm going to go ahead and grease these, these threads because that's a metal washer. Just rub that grease in there. Rub that grease in here. Just keep your drag smooth, you know, the, the tension on your drag smooth. So, um, so I'm going to start twisting that on here. The, the funny thing about this, because it's got that little clicker mechanism there, you got to kind of hold your line guide in place to give it a little extra tension. This can, you know, sometimes I'll push against it. Having a hard time getting this one on. I'm gonna go ahead and take my screwdriver and push that little clicker in there a little bit. There we go. Now it's snapped in there. All right, now, there. Now, now you can kind of hear it. I'm actually tightening it on there. So, all right. So again, it feels really smooth. Um, so now we want to put our handle back on. So you get the handle, then you've got the nut that holds it on there. And that's one, the nut is something that people really get on their crooked. And again, you don't want to force it. You know, that right there started going on, but I actually feel like it's a little crooked. So I'm going to back it off again and try it again here. You just, you got to get that stuff on straight. There we go. What you have, what you have, is when you don't get it on there straight, it'll tighten down to a certain point, and then you'll tighten it down, and you cross thread that nut on there, and eventually your handle will wear out. You won't ever be able to get it as tight as it was. So, so I've got that on now. I just need to put the nut protector on here got it on and then i just need to put the two little screws back in for it so again i just drop the screw there it hits the towel it doesn't go anywhere that's that's the key to the towel is i got fat fingers i fumble things and you don't want to be losing critical pieces to your reel bouncing around on the floor going down a heater vent or something crazy like that yeah and yes that's happened so <laughs> All right, so then you get the screws in here. You've essentially got the reel basically reassembled, but there's a few other places you want to 
clean and grease on it. Or clean and oil, I should say. All right, so again, I, every time I put something on, I check. Man, I mean, that, that is silky smooth. Way better than it was before I started this. Now, this reel is uh, eight years old, maybe. So, um, and honestly, that, that's the reason I don't have a problem paying a little more for good reels is if you clean them up like this, it's, it's like a, a good truck. I mean, it'll last you 10 years, 20 years. All right, so I, I, I just grease down in there. I'm going to put the spool back in here. Again, don't force things. Just um, and one thing I'll, I'll note: a lot of times when you're real, when you're when you put your reel back together, if this thumb bar is down, this stuff in here won't mesh, okay? Because this thumb bar, it pops out, it pops out that little that little plastic collar. Remember we we put that little spindle down through there, that plastic collar. It pops it into a different place, and then pops back into place and that you know so you can't get the reel back together when you've got that thumb bar down so that's one thing to note the thumb bar always needs to be up when you're putting the reel back together all right so i've got that in there i want to put a drop of oil on the end of this and then i want to put my side plate on usually you just it's you just put it a little bit off kilter and then turn it and you'll kind of feel it either snug up and a lot of them click into place and then this this kind of spring loaded you can kind of hand tighten that down. I go ahead and take a screwdriver because I don't, I don't need to be messing with it much. I go ahead and screw it down. Now that feels really smooth. This is one other place you need to clean real good. And I'll, uh, all right, so that reel's pretty smooth, but now we need to, we've cleaned that, we've cleaned that worm gear, but I want to, now we need to re-lubricate it. And again, you want to do grease. It's, it's basically metal on metal. Not too much. You just put a little in there, turn it, put a little in there, turn it, put a little in there, turn it. You know, that that spool spins great. I got the magnets turned all the way down on it. Let's open this thing up. All right, so I'm going to hit that spool. That's an that's a eight-year-old reel, and it, and it Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. 